let me give you the fifth commitment before okay. I forget. Okay. And then and then I want to address this this uh, <laughs> angle you you've come up with. So the fifth commitment, the fifth and final commitment mm. is to commit to be tethered to values. Mm. Be anchored to something. Because you see, without values, nothing is sacred. Wow. Wow. And that's why, I'll say that again, without values, nothing is sacred. If Woo! we don't value something or someone or some people, then we can touch anything. 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 Wow. You know, if, if we don't value what the earth gives us, we destroy it. If we don't value what people mean to other people, we kill them willy-nilly. Yeah. yeah. So, so it's so important. It's the fifth commitment, not because it's last, but because it's the anchor. Mm. Mm. Values, yes. Be, be tethered to something. Value yeah. something. Yeah. Find sanctity in something. You know, you must have something that is sacred. And mm. if you have something that is sacred, that commitment to, to not desecrating it is, is the checks and balances that exist, hmm. that come by themselves. So these commitments really, they, they work um, even you know, in personal life. In fact, I'll tell you how, how I came up with the five commitments. Okay. Interesting. <laughs> so I, had, I, was, I, was, I started writing the book and I was very clear from the beginning that the title of the book was Leading Beyond Now. And I was working through it, putting, you know, my, doing my research, doing whatever, working on the book. And at the same time, so as I was working on that, I'm, I'm, I'm consistently wanting to be, to develop myself and to get better and voraciously consume any knowledge or information I, I, yeah. I do worthy of consumption. <laughs> um, so whilst I was doing that, I came across, um, this idea that you can develop a parenting manifesto. And I thought, okay. oh, I want to do that. Because of course I want to do everything that's <laughs> cool. I was like, I can do that. I can come up with a manifesto for how, what a kind of a parent I want to be. So mm. I started working on that and, and you know, I started writing it. And the plan was, it was just going to be one page. And the first line, you know, um, I wrote, I commit to, and I wrote a version of these five commitments, obviously mm. used different language. Yeah. And then I had my, my manifesto up um, in front of me, what's in front of me, well, this is my, my home office, my desk, what's in front of me all the time is I have a, an, an actual notice board where I stick on my actual stickers and things mm. that I want to remind myself of. So I put it up there and then I'm you know working on the book and so on. And then one day when I sort of hit a block, I looked at the parenting manifesto. <laughs> I looked at the book. I'm like, no way. <laughs> so, so then I refined those five commitments and um, came up with how, how they are phrased now. Yeah. But what it confirmed to me is that whether you lead in the house or you lead in the market or mm. you lead in mm. parliament or in president or in the C-suite or in the community or in yeah. politics, these five commitments anchor and they, they should act as the GPS for, for how we control ourselves Interesting. Um, as leaders. And, and like I said, they are not skills or characteristics. They're, they're not, they don't, there's no score sheet. They don't have a point system where you say I've attained the five commitments. No, as with any commitment, parenting, marriage, yeah. partnership, it's ongoing. Business, it's, it's ongoing. ongoing. Yeah. You have to recommit. And, you know, if you're human, you've wanted to throw in that towel and you keep going, right? Because it's a commitment that's that's central to you. It doesn't mean you can never break a commitment. No. Because sometimes a commitment can be unhealthy and you can decide, I want to break it. But the idea of a commitment is just the having something that you keep coming, you keep circling back yeah. to. Yeah. So those are the five commitments that I believe if at a minimum leaders in Africa were committed to that. And uh, something I talk about in the book is that it's better 
we, we are served better by a leader who fails in pursuit of greatness than a leader who fails in pursuit of mediocrity. I agree. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So even if they ultimately do not score hundred percent on any commitment and nobody as does as long as they are pursuing it we 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 stand better